Ah, uh, do you smell it, chat? Just waft it in. It's the Game Awards season, baby. And that means free gotcha rewards. <laughs> like, yeah. So as we know every year with the Game Awards, we know that a lot of these games that come up are going to give us a lot of rewards. Or at least it just seems that way because really it it's happened almost every year. So if you're a gotcha gaming fan, Game Awards season is probably a fun time for you. Unless you're into the whole controversies thing, like the one year when Genshin was fighting with Sonic for player's choice, which was crazy in of itself. Or, you know, all the weirdness that came about it with, you know, people, Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact stuff before. But I digress. Let's talk about the Game Awards today. And first off, the two main you know, contenders for the Game Awards are three others, and of course, also what to expect. Now, before we get into that, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Sorry, my my tongue is going everywhere today. Like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tystra for ten percent off, guys. We're trying to get our own cup. I need your help. Purchase as much Gamer Subs materials, memorabilia, all that good stuff, and use code Tystra because every time you do. You know, a kitten gets that much closer to, you know, buying my cup. That's that's about all I could say about it. But let's go ahead and now, without any more shilling, dive into what's going on with this. So, as you can see, and let me just, you know, peruse myself over here really quick. A boop right there. As you can see, these are the current mobile game nominees. Now, let's go through it one by one. We got AFK Journey. We got Balatro. We got Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket, or Pokemon TCG Pocket, Weathering Waves, and Zenless Zone Zero. Now, what's really cool about this is that it is very diverse. I really like it, and it actually entails a bunch of games that were really, really big for mobile phone users. The only one that I have not really heard of until the whole Game Awards thing was Bellatro. And I still have yet to check it out, but apparently it's up for Game of the Year, which is crazy that a mobile game is up for Game of the Year. That's pretty dang crazy. However, I played four out of the five of these games, and really two are in contention. Well, maybe three, but we're going to get to that here in just a second. First things first, I'm ruling out AFK Journey. Now, AFK Journey uh, had a bunch of stuff happen with it. A lot of things that upset a lot of AFK players um from afk what was it afk arena um mainly one of my editors is very very upset with afk Jerry, or was i don't know if he still is but um there's a lot of things that happened with it i think that it had one month of like big success when it released uh in i think it was china or japan and uh when it did it had a big boom but then after that fizzled right out um, it's not dead because obviously it's still making over 10 mil, which, you know, some people might say making 10 to 15 mil means your game's going to be end of service. But again, I have to tell you, there's plenty of games out there that haven't end of service yet. It really isn't going to happen. So AMK journey is definitely not winning this Bellatro, Um, if you're really like a big gotcha game player and you voted, you're definitely probably not going for Bellatro. I do want to check it out. It seems like a really, really dope game. Um, at least from what people have said, but honestly, I haven't heard of it until today, really, or really since the Game Awards announced this. So for me, I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> then there's kind of the wild card, and I don't really mean to put a pun in there, but um, it's one of those things where I look at Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. I love the game. I've spent so much money already on this game because I'm having a blast with it. I think it is definitely one of those ones that is the newer of the contenders but i feel as though like it's not going to win only because of the fact that it's still newer and a lot of people are upset saying that it's pay to win i don't think it is i think you just have to be really lucky just like every other gotcha game that's crazy man but i've also been the type of person to say that trading cards are just real life gotcha it's just what it is it's all gambling you're paying a certain amount of money or a certain amount of currency to possibly get something that's really, really good. You might hit it, you might not. Honestly, with cards, it's a lot harder. Except for in Pocket TCG, it's a lot easier to pull those really, really big cards. So, to all the people out there that are just complaining about it, you know, coming from a whale, just get good. Winners win. <laughs> no, I kid. But 
Pocket CCG is really, really fun. I think that it's the only other contender in this one outside of the two that we're going to be talking about that could win. It still could win because Pokemon's a big IP and a lot of people are playing Pocket CCG. A lot of people are playing it. So, but we'll see, you know, maybe uh, Sensory or Sensor Tower, uh, the scammers that they are, they might put like they made 200 million in the first month. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> but... Let's go ahead and talk about the big two now on this. We got Withering Waves versus Zenla Zone Zero. The gotcha PvP championships right here for the new games that came out in 2024, right? This is big. Like, I am very, very happy with Withering Waves being on here because I'm a big fan of Withering Waves. I think that it gets too much flack from people. I think a lot of people prey on its downfall for no freaking reason. Get off of the freaking hate train. It's a good game. God, but it does have a very, very big contender with Hoyo versus Zenless Zone Zero. Now, why is it a big contender? It's freaking Hoyo verse. They won game of the year with Genshin Impact, or not game of the year, but mobile game of the year with Genshin Impact. They won mobile game of the year with Honkai Star Rail. Are they going for the three P? Yes, they're going for the three P. And honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if they got it because Zenless Zone Zero is a lot of fun. And I hate saying it still, because I was the one when closed beta 2 happened, I said, Zenless Zone Zero's gonna be crap. I'm having a lot more fun with Zenless Zone Zero than I thought I would. So, for me, it's between these two games. And I really hope that Withering Waves wins, because Withering Waves and Kuro games in general are very generous towards their, like, community. They care about their community. At least that's what it seems like on Twitter. Some gotcha content creators will beg to differ which is pretty freaking crazy but to prove this they also were like hey thanks for nominating us we're giving you a thousand asteroid which is close to a full multi now that's huge again it's really really cool that they would even do that right so i'm very happy with the fact that kuro games does stuff like that we haven't seen anything for send zone zero yet i don't know if the hoyoverse uh zzz team is going to do something for that if they do, great. If they don't, to me, it's not expected. It'd be cool, but I know a lot of people will be like, ZZZ, where's our free uh, monochrome? Hmm? And then we get like 60 and they get upset. That'd be, that would be funny, though. But it does beg the question, what will happen if one of these games wins? Well, I'm pretty sure something will happen if Withering Waves or Zenless Zone Zero wins. Depending on which game, we'll have the bigger choice. If ZZZ wins, we'll probably get a free multi. If Weathering Waves wins, my guess, we might get a five-star selector or a free future five-star. I don't know. Um, if Pocket TCG wins, I don't know. I don't know what they would do, but Nintendo hasn't been known for their generosity or really just the Pokemon franchise, right? So to me, I don't entirely know what's going to happen, but between the big two, I, I hope and I voted for them that Weathering Waves wins. That's just me. It's not to say that I don't like Zenless Zone Zero. I think Zenless Zone Zero is a very, very fun game. And if it wins, I won't be surprised. I'd be happy with that too. But both of these games deserve Game of the Year, Mobile Game of the Year, in my personal opinion. Now, definitely let me know in the comments down below which one you voted for. I would love to hear y'all's opinions. Let's see, let's get some respectful debates going on in the chat, like, or just make fun of each other. Who? I don't care. But. Yep, like, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. Uh, once again, thank you so much. I can't wait to talk to you all again. And as always, we'll catch you in that next video. Please take care and be safe.